Hi all, Ben the Meerkat here, and I've been asked a few times of how I got my Firestorm or set up. As you know, I'm in Firestorm. The first thing you notice is the button, so I'm using the blood theme, so everything's red. So how you do that is just go to open up preferences, which is control P, and go to skins, and a storm, and then down here on blood right there. You just hit OK and then you restart your viewer. Another thing is the head movement. How do I get my meerkat to move his head like that? Control P for preferences. Privacy. You want to go into the look at and uncheck these two. Just these two. And you get that. But if you don't want your head to move, you just check them off. And my meerkat's head is stuck in one position. So now I see. He won't look anywhere. Just looking straight on to nothing. So uncheck those. And he's looking around again. And other people can see you do it. Another thing is up here, you see a lot of these things up here. These are actually favorites. So, when you go to a place and you want it up here, you hit the little gray star, empty gray star up here. And then you go down here and click landmarks and then select favorites. And of course you can put it into other folders in your landmark folder. When I go to stores, I put them in stores, so on and so forth. Since I live here, I don't need a landmark it. Another thing is all the buttons on the side. What do they do? Where do you go? How do you get them? Well, if I click on any button, usually down here, and you go up to toolbar buttons. Now make sure this is unchecked, locked. Hey, you want people to move out your buttons and you got a ton here. What I like to have is about land, so I can see what's going on, especially on my own land. This is region settings, just out of curiosity of who owns the region. And then my own profile. And then my friends list. And then who I was talking on voice. And then toggling my mic on and off. Over here is the mini map, my inventory, my outfits, and then search. And over here is sit. You see my little meerkat setting and standing. I got preferences right here for ease of access. I don't feel like doing control P. And then these are quick access, and this one's actually my own. It, you're allowed to set your own as well as what's what Firestorm gives you. This is my own. This lets me mouse over like the door and see how that came up. If I uncheck that, I don't get that. This is good for when you're playing uh, games like uh, skill gaming or board games like Skippo. You just uncheck that. That way you don't have that coming up every time you try to click on a card. And then here's the group tags. Gestures. Uh, oh yeah, you don't hear it. I got sound off. And my quick ads, like uh, quickly add Pro, Pro Street. Take that off. And TBI. And so that, so you can see. So a little quick way for all of your quick attachments that you don't really need to wear all the time. This just tells me what's going on in the region. I like to have that up sometimes when the region is lagging. And this is just the sync if you're dancing with someone and the dance kind of out of sync. That's what I have up. But of course, you can have whatever you want out of these options. Uh, Marketplace is pretty good for 
for those of you who are content creators who sell on Marketplace, that's good to have. I suggest putting it like right there, somewhere on the right side. So you can access this stuff real quick. And to remove a button, if lock is unchecked, just right click the button and remove. Another great one is web. I'm going to put that right there. And you can browse the website right from the viewer. So, so good play. Uh, since this is my site, slow loading. Okay, well, I'm not going to wait around for that. <laughs> Again, just remove. If you want to lock your all the buttons and you don't want to go through this, right click, lock. Now, more, you can still use the buttons when that's locked in. You just can't move them. So, um, oh yeah, colors. You know how Linden Labs is usually blue and it's hard to see them? Well, I just picked this one, Fusa, or whatever it's called. Did that for color for chat, name tag, and minimap. Muted, yeah. Now, how did I got the property lines up here? Up on my minimap. See how those lines? Well, it's simple. Right click, show, property lines. And if you want to see what parcels are for sale, you can do that. And speaking about parcels, let's go outside. Now, as you can see, there's uh, like a bluish green line right there on the terrain. Well, that tells me that it's a property line, as you can see by the yellow that just came up. Now, how the heck did I do that? Well, it's not in preference, so you gotta go up to world, go down to show more, and property lines right there. See? It's gone. Do it again. I right, just do control alt shift p that usually works, and like that. Now, what do these different colors mean? Well, this means that the land is stated to a group that I'm part of. If I go over here, the line is red, which means that the parcel is owned by someone else, like the Department of Public Works, which group obviously I'm not part of. Or if I go over here, the line is solid red, so both parcels are owned by someone that uh, not owned by me or not it's due to a group that I'm not part of, which this one will be radioactive. So if I teleport to my Linden home, you can see the line is green. Because that means I only own it. And it's not due to any group. It's set to a group, but it'll, it'll stay green unless I due to a group, but obviously can't do it with these homes. <coughs> um, Actually, I don't know where there's one. Now, a line like this, the orange or whatever it is, means that the parcel is for sale. I see on the mini map here, it's yellow. Right click, and you see it, it's for sale. Now, I right clicked and went to about land. Or if you're in the parcel, you just go right there. If you have it in your toolbar. Which I like to do because then it's quicker access for me to like go into my one of my parcels, check to see who's read stuff, what the settings are, etc etc. So there's that. Now purple, if it's purple on your mini map, purple on the main map, and there's a purple line, it means it's for auction. I don't know what's possible to look for auction right now, so can't really show ya. <coughs> now 
for the map itself. They'll be right there. You can see legends. It's all simple. Now, this is really cool. How can you tell if what the price is? Something well, you see the price tag. You just left click on that. You can see what the price is. Fourteen thousand three point eight per square meter. Well, la di da. Let's see. And there it is. 3.8 meters. 3.8 per meter. So that's pretty much it of how Firestorm is and all the little cool giddy goodies. And one little bonus. If you want to, if you're building and you have something that's copyable and you want to have more out of it, well, you just hold on to shift, grab the arrow that you want to move it on and you just drag while holding shift and it makes a copy. This one here is actually a copy of this. So this little heads up on that. And that basically does it for Firestorm. If you have any more questions of how I have mine set up or anything about Firestorm if I can help please give me a call. Holler. Uh, then Kelly or Ben Sheridan, as my display name is, or just hit me up on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ah, what? What, 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 what? Come on. Ah, uh, my hood's not working now. Lovely. Anyways, bye-bye.